guys from another video here in Sri Lanka, specifically in Kandy, and actually it's our last few moments in Kandy. I'm here with a British lad, Super Desinamo Chans, and we are cruising on over to the train station right now. Actually, we will be sharing with you quite an interesting journey because I went to the train station yesterday, which you haven't seen this video because it was just a snippet of us trying to pick up tickets. And basically, we were not able to pick up tickets, and I will share that clip with you now. Hey guys, rewind from yesterday. It is now when I'm here grabbing a train ticket at the candy station here. So I was told that you're supposed to come 24 hours before just to get the train to Ella because it's so popular. And so we will see if we can get my man can hook us up. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Yeah. Can I buy uh, two tickets first class, two tickets second class, two tickets third class for tomorrow's uh, train to Ella? Ella train is already full now. All the classes. What? All the classes are full now tomorrow morning. Oh, when's the next one? All the day. Tuesday? All the day. Uh, next check, check. Counter number one. Counter number one? All right. Well, looks like we're not going tomorrow. What's counter number one? Uh, let's see here. All right. So it seems like we got to go to the other counter here in order to find out. So we're not going to be taking the train tomorrow. We're going to be taking it then, I guess, Tuesday, hopefully. Let's go. Are we going together? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> um, I'm looking to get a uh, train ticket to Ella on Tuesday. Is it available? No, hey, it's full. What? It's full on Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday it's full? This train starts at 8.45 from here, okay? 8.45, yeah, from okay, here? Okay, you can buy tickets after 8 o'clock from front counter number 5. Okay, Come there, number buy five. the ticket from Candy to this place, Noreli, yeah? Okay. And you have to change your compartment to first class in Noreli, it's okay? Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Just got a ticket here. The crazy part is, is the train fills up so quickly. They're actually booked out for like two more weeks ahead of it. So somehow we were able to get a ticket from Nuoria Ella, no, Nanu Oya, Oya Ella, to Badula, which is only like a very small part of the train journey. So we're gonna try and go to this counter right here, see if we can get a third class ticket. And from there, hopefully it'll work out. So I'm like really bummed because I was so excited for this train. And I guess even going 24 hours in advance doesn't get it for you. Our guy told us not for another two weeks is there a train availability. So that's a huge bummer. But honestly, I might just go to the train station tomorrow and just pay someone for their ticket and buy it off them for a large amount. We'll see though. Maybe our guy can help us. We'll see bro. Oh, it's a headache, huh? Man, so stressful. Until the 28th, huh? Yeah, yeah. Until the 28th. Hello, is there a uh, third class ticket available to Nanu Oya? Could I have one please tomorrow? To Nanu Oya? I already... So for a third class though? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. At 8 a.m.? Uh, okay, thank you. I guess we'll arrive to the train station at 8 a.m. and see if we can get a third class ticket, and we shall see. All right guys, now that I've kind of uh, figured out exactly what happened, I will explain the situation with the train. So basically, this train from Candy down to Ella is one of like the best trains in the world, I'm being told. Right in blog post, I've heard about it. It's a beautiful ride. So as you can imagine, it is a huge hit for tourists. And I've been told that you should get your train ticket like 24 hours in advance. But when we went there, basically told me that the next train ticket that was available in any class was in two weeks. And I'm like, two weeks? This is my dream train. So we were going back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, I was even offering it. I was like, I'll pay $100 for the ticket, whatever it is to get on that train. And he told me there's like basically one way you can get on the train on third class is you can come at 8 a.m. the morning of, and there's a few tickets that they'll sell because the seats aren't reserved. So. That's what I'm gonna try tomorrow morning. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna ask random people and just pay them in US dollars, if I have US dollars, I'll have to check. Or in, uh, or in, ru in rupees to try and get on that train tomorrow because I really want to go on it. Now, worst case, if I don't get on, you're seeing me hold a train ticket right here. And that is, uh, he was able to work out to get me a train ticket on Tuesday from Nuoria Ella to Badula. Badula is basically near the Ella area. And so if I get on that train, it's basically, I want to say like the second half of the journey. So you still get that sunset cruise from basically 12.30 in the afternoon until maybe like 4 or 5 p.m. Sunset through the mountains and we'll get the best part of the train from what I understand. But ideally, I get to ride the entire train from start to finish. So this is why it's going to be very exciting for you guys to watch this video because you're going to come with me on this journey 
when we figure out how the heck we're gonna get down there. Let's go. So yeah, now here we are on our way to the train station to pick up a third class ticket if possible. If that does not work out, then we will try and buy someone's first class tickets off them. If we see like anyone that it's, if it's possible, we'll see, we'll see. And if we have the energy, because me and the British lad need some serious coffee right now. Coffee. And if none of that works out or if we're just too tired, then we're gonna hire a driver to drive us to Nuara Elia. And we're gonna expe basically spend like 24 hours exploring there, make a couple videos. And so hopefully we can tr show you the train journey today, but if not, I'll tell you, regardless, stick around to the end because there's gonna be some exciting things happening. Let's go. yesterday that I took the train from Colombo over to Candy, which was actually like almost two weeks ago. But we are back, we're at the train station and it's a busy morning here. Hello Machans. Good morning Machan. They're not too talkative this morning, but they probably can't hear me. We've got uh, Subo Polisnia. Subo Polisnia. Komada. Alakari Machan. Astute Machan. How much dinero do we owe you? 500 machan. 500 machan. We're going to another today. Uh, Nuria. Honest tuk tuk driver deserves reward. Thank you. All right, guys, we have made it back to the train station here. We're going to see if we can get one of those third class tickets. So we are going to head in here and find out if any are available. It seems like this is the only counter open. So hopefully we make it. Hello. Uh, am I able to get two third class tickets to Nuara Elia? 350. 350? Third class ticket to Elia. Thank you. Stuti Machan. All right, and it was much easier than we thought. You just come here in the morning, got two third class tickets here. I guess me and the uh, British lad both have two tickets. So. Yeah, third class. Third class, yeah? What'd you get, third class? Yeah. Oh, sweet, all right. You're in the second class queue though. Ah, well, that makes sense. There's definitely no third class tickets available, or second class available. I guess it proves true that you can get the tickets the morning of, and basically you just try and fit on the train. So it's gonna be a tight ride all the way down. We're just taking this one to Ella, or sorry, New Aria Ella today, and then we'll hang out there for like 24 hours, and then we'll take you on the train in a separate video from New Aria Ella to Ella. So let's do it. Mr. Jaggard, do you need a chicken thigh or a coffee? Coffee. Let's grab one real quick, bro. Tutti, Machan. All right. Hello, my friend. Subo Desina. Subo Desina. Oh, some fresh fish ready to be chowed on. Here we go. And so as you guys can see here, it's a much smaller train station than the Colombo train station. Uh, only slightly smaller, actually, to be honest. But uh, feels a bit smaller and not as crowded. So we are stopping over here to see Machan to get a nice fresh cup of coffee. And we will take you with us on the train ride in just a moment. By the way, these train tickets cost us three fifty for two. So that is less than or roughly one dollar per uh, train ticket there so to take one of the most beautiful trains in the world for one dollar I'm guessing that means it's gonna be very very packed. So we got to rush on there Saya. I need a chicken thigh Raise the drawbridge uh, Milk coffee, please Milk coffee? Milk coffee, yep. And a chicken thigh? Good night <laughs> Did I have to buy a chicken thigh? Yes, Saya. Is that food on the train? Uh, nope. But there's there's guys that'll hop on the train and then they bring you some street food. Like they'll walk through the cabins and you can buy it. How much are the coffees? One, one hundred. One hundred, all right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Two day machan. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, sorry. Sorry. This is uh, Nuora Elia? Yeah. This way? Either one of these. Third class, yeah? We can go on either side. Where do we go to get uh, the best seat? Where's the best seat? For third class, where's the best seat? Uh, best for third one. class? Third. Humber. So we... Okay. At the back. Back. At the back. Okay. The back, yeah? So keep walking there. So we walk to the end of the platform? Yeah. So, what's that? Okay. Stuti Machan. Guys, we have one train coming behind us. Now we've got a good idea of what third class is going to be looking like. As you can see here, it is pretty tight. Although I'm not sure that that's third class. Oh, oh, that's pretty strong on the ears there. You got to get used to that. You ready for that, Saya? That's not ours, is it? No, 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 this isn't ours. And I believe the train comes first from Colombo, then arrives here, picks us up, then takes us down there. It's like a long running route. So, I don't know, any minute now. 
So guys, there was just an announcement made that I believe our train's gonna be arriving and you can tell that the locals know what to do because they're starting to get ready here. Some of the foreigners are just kind of just chilling, like us, because we don't actually realize how much we need to hustle in order to get a good seat on the train. Honestly, I'm already convinced we're not gonna get a good seat, so I'm just gonna stroll right on and see how things go. What about you here, man? Hey, we're way too relaxed. We're yeah, like, yeah. yeah, we'll just get on when it arrives. Where everyone's like, exactly, on your marks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As you can see, we finally have the train coming. The place has gotten pretty busy here. It's gotta be like hundreds of people lining up getting ready to hop right on here. So it's going to be a rush inside to see if we're able to fit. Hello, Machan. So this is second class we're passing right now. And as you can see, second class is pretty tight. But once we get to third class, then that's when things start to get really tight. So I believe third class might be even further down. Uh, oh. So as you can see, everyone's rushing to get to the spot because you want to get that spot. There's not going to be many options. And the further we go, then maybe the more likely we will be to get a spot. Oh, second class. So where's third then? See, you can see that second class reserved. Uh, all right. And down here is first. I think we went the wrong way. I said we just hop on second then. Uh, third class is uh third class must be the other way. Because first class was the first one. So guys, looks like we screwed that one up. What do you think, bro? Oh, it's gonna be a tight fit. Very tight fit. People trying to get on, people trying to get off. I wonder how they even check all the tickets. Yeah. Oof. It's gonna be getting second thoughts. Uh, how long are we on this bad boy? Yeah, what, three, four hours? No regrets. <laughs> Should we just do do one stop and then get a taxi and pretend we did the train? <laughs> yeah. Joking guys, we'd never do that. I feel like these are second class though. Excuse me, you are uh, second class? Yeah. So third class must be this way, bro. Yeah. All right, so we went to the wrong side of the train. The chances of us even getting on this thing are probably quite slim because if second class is that busy, so maybe once we get a little bit further down, we shall find out. So this looks like this looks like third class. Is this third class? Is this third class? Ah, uh, there we go. We are successful, guys. I don't know how we're gonna get on here, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. And actually, it seems it seems less crowded than uh, second class. All right. As you can see, there might be a little bag storage up top, which would be very nice. But uh, seems like that's filling up quite quickly. So. Maybe we're gonna ride in between the train cards here. Uh, got ourselves a little space here, bro. Yeah, this is we nice. made it, Saya. I like what they've done with the place. How are we, guys? Subodesana, komada machans. Astuti machans. They just uh, hooked it up and gave me a little space for the bag. Now the hair man needs to find one, though. So subodesana machans, komada. Yeah, perfect, perfect. So we're going on the cruise line. You guys going all the way to uh, Ella or Nuwaria Ella or where? No, I'm going to Ella. Where? Yeah, oh, the whole country. You're doing a full train tour. All right. Hayden, Hayden. Hayden. How, how many hours is that? Uh, three years. Three hours. Oh, okay. And then how far is Nuara Ella? <laughs> four hours. We've got four hours, Saya. They've, they've been, they let me put my bag there. Ah, astute machans. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're working on our uh, Sinhalese, you know, slowly but surely. A couple new words per day. It's Alakari, you know? I know one song, it's called, I need a chicken thigh. Easy boy, easy. You got that workout in. <laughs> now we get up a contest. See who can do the most? See who can do the most pull ups? Yeah. Tubo Desana Machan. Everything Hyundai? Hyundai? Hyundai. Hyundai, yeah, yeah, there we go. We gotta work on the accents. We got Ronnie going after, that's one. Let's go, baby. Two. Let's go. Three. Oh, man. Welcome to the gun show. Four. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Takes the W. There you go. Nice work, brother. All right, this is going to be a very fun train ride, I can tell. Stute Machans. Oh, I did not expect this. Guys, we are now in cruising down. We've got a four-hour ride. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
So the boys took us out for a quick little shot. Be careful putting your head out the window because you can easily get decapitated. But I'm a trained professional, kind of. So as you can see, we're cruising right outside of Candy, the beginning of a very long ride. And I'm happy to say that in third class, I feel like there's more room than when we saw all the people hopping onto second class. So that's good news. So as you can see, guys, it's not as crowded as Honestly, I expected it to be. Actually, quite a bit of space for activities. What do you think over there, lad? First train ride. This is easy. I thought it was going to be like sweaty, like horrible, smelly. It's fine. It's really nice. We're with the boys here as well. Yeah, we got the full squad with us chilling, so. Couldn't be better. Exactly, exactly. All right, you're taking over. Let's do an update here. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta say who you are and uh, <laughs> let's, let's see the vlog update. Turn it towards you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. We got this. We got this right here, bro. Yeah, tell us about your injury on the camera. Yeah. So we have a vlog takeover happening right now. The boys are taking over. Tell us a little bit how you uh, broke your hand there. Looks like you got some scrapes all up and down the legs too, huh? <laughs> So he it's was on a CBR <laughs> and he uh, crashed it just a week ago. Leg, leg, leg. Yeah. Leg. So he's got a couple battle wounds from it, but uh, could be worse. You're alive, so that's good news. <laughs> Bye. There we go. You know, by the end of the train ride, the uh, vlog, the vlog takeovers will get better here. That, that was round one. We've got three more hours. So as you can see, we got Harry actually standing right in the middle of two different train cars. So you can be, uh, you can be on two at once. It's probably a little sketchy. Whoa, 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 you feel that? Do not try this unless you're a professional train rider. Like Machan here, Stuti Machan. Whoa, yeah. Oh my god. It's like equivalent to being drunk. How do you like it on the train here? It's a good spot. Whoa, you're bouncing up and down on the other side over there. Is this safe? This, this is safe area? Yeah. That's uh, about as safe as you get. Wow, the train is now disconnecting. We're about uh, one hour into the train ride. As you can see, if you want that picturesque spot near the window, it's a hot commodity. There's not too many uh, open spaces here. How are we doing, Machans? You guys made it to the window yet? It's probably too loud. You can't hear me. Catching some good wind out there, boss? Right. Got a nice little wind tunnel going there, yeah? We got Machan bringing us out some good. What are these little things you got? What are these? Peanuts. Peanuts? Spicy. Whoa. Very spicy. Thank you, Machan. 100. 100. How much is that? Stute Machan. Got a fresh bag of nuts for about 50 cents. And they're spicy nuts here. And they're custom made bags. As you can see, it's a sheet of paper here. So that's the nice part. When you're on the train, if you didn't get anything to eat for any meals, there's people that walk through. I don't know if you guys can hear any of this, but yeah, you'll be able to eat on the train. They bring drinks. We're still waiting for the drinks guy to come around, but we shall see. You got the wild British lad in the wild right now, hanging out the window. An absolute animal right there. And as promised, guys, the uh, drinks man has came back. Oh, two fresh Coca-Colas. Thank you, boss. Are they, uh, are they fresh? 150, oh, fresh, yeah? 150. You got the 300, bro? Yeah, bro. Everything's on Harry today because my wallet's locked up in that bag. So the Bank of England. They yeah, say. Bank of England, exactly. There you go. Yeah. All right. So the official uh, taste test here. You got the uh, the paper bag as we were showing you guys. We got a mixture of leaves in there. And it seems like I don't think you're supposed to eat the leaves, but the uh, nuts are actually still warm. I, they must be making them on the train or something. Mmm. 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 -hmm. I'd say that's G-double-O-D, good, good. A nice little snack to be honest. I haven't eaten breakfast yet today. Then we got the uh, ice cold, nice cold. Uh, good mixture. So the, uh, oh, no, you got him. The Coca-Cola is uh, 150, so that's about 75 cents to get one of these on the train. Actually, it's a very good price. So we're definitely getting locals price on this. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to <laughs> Let's see how the audience, good? Very good? All right. Good fun boy, huh? Yeah, exactly, here we go, that's good. This fun boy. <laughs> that's good, very fun. There's always, there's always one in the group that we can get to be loud and we found him. Exactly, we found him, we've located him. See guys, you never know what's gonna happen on these trains. Oh, we've got more drinks coming through. Oh, just got hit with the knee. As you can imagine. 
You never know when Jingle Bells is gonna pop up on a train here in Sri Lanka. But today with Machan. Yeah, yeah let's go. So the kind gentleman here just offered a little uh, guava here. It looks like the guava has some sort of, I would say like a spice on it. it smells all right. Hey. Whoa, very salty. Mm. Super. Super spicy. Supiri. Mm. That is a unique snack. It's probably one of the spiciest things I've had here in Sri Lanka. It's like fruity, but the spice is so strong that it overpowers it. Good stuff, yeah. Good stuff, Machan. Tissue, tissue, no tissue. Uh, tissue, no. Tissue, tissue. Oh, tissue. Yeah. Pretty interesting flavor. Huh? Not sure how I feel about it, but worth trying. Cruising past this way, we got a little forest out here. We're starting to get into uh, Sri Lanka's nature. Good nature out here, yeah? What, how far into the train ride? Where's the best train ride? From Nuoria to Badula? Ella. That's best, to Ella, yeah? Uh, so you'll have to stick around for that train ride, guys, because that is the most beautiful one. Beautiful. You can see some forest. We've got some uh, rivers running by. And it's a nice little vibe. Oh, yeah, see that river right down there? We've got a solid party going on down here. Oh, they're cutting it off. How are you doing, bro? You got the best seat in town over there. Sorry, Machan. Diga. That's his name, Diga? Diga. Diga. Sudamali. What am I saying here? Guys, drop a comment below what, he's, what I'm uh, actually saying. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah, yeah. We've got the Machans playing some live music on the train. It's like we're in New York. Guys, you just go train cabin to train cabin and there's something else going on. Our ticket. We're about one hour into the journey and we're getting our ticket punched right here. 75 cents to go four hours. That's a bargain if you ask me. Oh, thank you, Machan. Stute. When we go through the tunnel, we've got people yelling here. Instagram photos not as good as uh, Instagram versus reality. There's not too many uh, spaces to fit back here. Been in line for about 20 minutes and I don't think I'll ever make it to the uh, actual doorway. So you can see it from afar. But as you can see, our man right here is living it up right there. Looking out into the uh, wild thing out the train car. That is a vibe. I will say though, when I posted a video like this on TikTok, someone commented that someone commented that someone recently died like hanging out. So definitely be careful if you're hanging out on the train. It goes through caves, it goes through a lot of tight spaces, so like you never know at any moment something could be coming at you. you Gotta put that disclaimer in there, do it at your own risk, but it is very beautiful looking out into these mountains. <laughs> So here's Harry over here pretending he's been hanging out of the train car the entire time. Take fluencer. <laughs> That's kind of sketchy. You got one? Yeah, yeah, bro, it's super sketchy. Yeah. When I did it on the way from Candy to Colombo, I almost lost my head like three times. Okay. And there's people that have died. Like when I posted the TikTok, like people were like, yo, be careful, like a tourist Thank recently you. died. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, that's uh, probably not bad. Let's get a little, little sneak peek right there. Coming into the station. What about it? What about it? What's the name of the station? What about it? What about it? What about it? Perfect, perfect. Oh, we got a squad coming through. All right, all right. As you guys can see, it gets a little busy around here. But uh, we got a little sneak peek of what it looks like outside.
Goodbye, my friends. Nice to meet you all. Hope to see you again. Enjoy your vacation. Goodbye, my friends. See you. See you. See you, my friend. Fun, fun time with you guys on the train. Fun time with you guys. See you, brother. Oh, see you, Machan. Fun time with you on the train. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Machan. Nice to meet you. We finally got a spot. Whoa! <laughs> so guys, this is what they're talking about when they say one of the most beautiful train rides. We're coming along here. Whoa, no littering. That's bad. You see that? That's a no-no. But yeah, we're cruising through these mountains over here. It's probably a little bit loud as you can hear from the train tracks. But as we're going through here, you can see some of the incredible landscapes that we're going to be riding through. But as we get closer to New Area, Ella, it's actually uh, known for its tea. It's the tea capital of actually the world. That's quite uh, unique. Yeah, you probably saw someone back there throwing out even more litter. But it's a nice little vibe now that we can finally ha hang out of the train. We've got a nice breeze. We've got everyone hanging out all the way down here. We've got Machan over there. Machan, how we doing? All the way up this way, so people are hanging out all the way up the train. It's really a nice and relaxing ride. Honestly, I couldn't even imagine being in this train though if it was scorching hot. Because if it was, guys, we would be dying in here. The only class that has air conditioning is first class, and we're here loaded up with so many people in this cabin. So right now, it is the perfect breeze to be enjoying it. We probably got one hour left, maybe an hour and a half. I'm not entirely certain. What do you think, here, man? First train ride in oh, Sri Lanka. First one, and it's, it started off work very well. I'm very happy that we've got a seat now. Sorry, it's very loud, you probably can't hear me. Whoa! I'm um, very happy we got seats because when we were standing up, it was very entertaining, but a little bit tiring. So yeah, uh, beautiful landscapes, and yeah, I'm excited to, to get to the destination and explore. Well, these, I reckon, uh, I reckon it could be. I don't want to say this because it could be wrong, but it could be tea. Oh, it is tea for sure. It's tea. Yeah. That's tea? Yeah, it's tea. Oh, yeah, it's tea. Okay. So it's, it's been confirmed because we're in the tea capital of the world. Hello, Machans. Hello, Hello. Later, Machans. Until Hello. next time. Bye-bye. Uh, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your trip. We'll see you guys in Colombo in a few weeks, yeah? Look at these flowers right there. I've never seen anything like it. We're, actually, we're passing some villages right outside of the last train station where we just sent by to all of the Machans. Right over there, and it's quite interesting. Every part of Sri Lanka I've been in is so different from the last. And so this is definitely in, uh, a bit more off the beaten path. It looks like they've used partially built construction buildings there to build homes out of it. And there's some more of the super exotic flowers. I like those a lot right there. Very unique. exactly what they mean. All of these rolling hills in the distance, tea farms everywhere. And you just have your, you have a mix of nature with modern as you see the winding roads and cars driving through them. It really is such a picturesque ride out here. And literally we had this timed out perfectly bro because like the best part of the ride isn't until now. Ah. And now we finally have the window seats. So. <laughs> the view right now is. Yeah, I, yeah I'd say the view is uh, limited right now, but uh, you're one with nature, let's put it that way. starting to see some incredible parts of this journey so as we're coming through I think we maybe have 45 minutes left of the journey maybe 30 minutes we're really getting into serious tea town here tea tea area is everywhere oh and we're coming in down there. Hello! Komada! Komada! Hyundai? Hyundai? There we go, we got the peace sign. 
Oh, we got a little lake over there, bro. You can go boating. Except I think that boat's seen better days. All these great views while he's uh, passed out. <laughs> Bro, you need a Red Bull. Yeah. Oh. We got three more full videos to film You're today. Talking about language. I, we haven't eaten anything. I've had a little samosa. It's like nearly one o'clock. That's true. Uh, you'd be sleeping anyways. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello, Machan. Komada. Yeah. You got it. You got the best spot in the in the whole house here. The whole train. All right, guys, we've decided to get off at a random stop right here, and we are literally in the middle of the jungle at this point, so only locals are here. We're gonna see if we can hitchhike, find a tuk-tuk, or however we go about it. So here we go. Goodbye, Machan. Goodbye, Machan. Hello, friend. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Uh, going to Nura Elia. Nura Elia. Yeah. We've got the Machans! How we doing Machan? Custom train car right there! They basically hitched onto the train and now they're heading over there. Hello my friend, how we doing? Uh, looking to go to New Orleans. Elia. Yeah, how do we get there? Tuk-tuk? Tuk-tuk, yeah. Perfect. Who's got a tuk-tuk around here? Oh, perfect. Stuti Machan. Stuti Machan. Stuti Machan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They speak, uh, Sinhalese or, they speak Sinhalese or Tamil? Tamil. Tamil. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We know Sinhalese. Two language. Two Tamil language. and Sinhalese. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And English. Yeah. Oh, very nice. So, guys, we have arrived here. We're, I think we were supposed to get off at basically the Nanu Oya stop, but we passed it. So, we were just going further and further south. So, we're like, okay, I think it's time to jump off because we're not planning on going to Ella until tomorrow. So, that's going to make a little bit of an adventure, though. So, guys, this video has gotten so long already. I want to thank you all for those who have actually stayed to this point. I'm actually going to end the video right here because we have a full day of exploring and that's going to be a whole separate video. So, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, smash that like button. Make sure to go to my boy Harry's channel, give him a subscribe, give him a like, and we will see you guys in tomorrow's video.